What's up, guys? Welcome into another edition of the PHNX Sun Devils Pac-12 Power Rankings, fueled by Illegal Pete's. By literally today. Yeah. Literally. Fueled by, and last night. Last the night was fueled by Illegal Pete's. Illegal Pete's, too, because I still have leftovers. Guys, Dude, Illegal Pete's so is good. the place to go for beers, burritos, and besties. And queso. And queso. And guac. Mm. Literally, and tequila shots. They got all the goods. Yeah, tequila shots. Had a couple of them last night. They got some fire merch, too. The happiest place on earth. Eat your heart out, Walt Disney. <laughs> Illegal Pete's. <Okay>. Go check <laughs> them out. That's a great start. Specifically, <laughs> specifically, their mill location um, over in Tempe. Everything is fire. Sean? <laughs> what? Everything it's, is on fire. Well, it's just funny because there was a... Joe pointed this out last night. It used to be a Greek restaurant, and people said they committed fraud by burning their own kitchen. Ah. And so it literally, the, that location was on fire. <laughs> At one point, multiple times. Hell yeah. Shout okay. Out, shout out Joe. Well, <laughs> let's get to uh, Pac-12 Power Rankings. <laughs> On that note, a lot has changed. Sean, I want to start with your rankings this week because for the first time in a long time, you've got all 12 teams making an appearance. I do have all 12 teams making an appearance. Uh, starting from the top, top four staying the same. Um, as we mentioned on um, the full PH and Extendables podcast, I think the gap between Arizona State and those top two was a little smaller than we had made it out to be originally um, but I do think that is clearly the order right now UCLA one Arizona two uh, Arizona State three this is where it gets a little interesting I, I could see a situation where Oregon jumps that USC into that four spot um, but you Oregon after their kind of slow start of the season has a lot to prove but their win over U of A um, is enough for me to move them all the way back up mm-hmm. to, to five Utah dropping down they're still an all right team um but they're clearly not the top four team that we kind of had put them as after beating U of A. Um, they're not that good. Um, Washington seven. I'm a little surprised that you guys have Washington uh, below Colorado, um, but I'll let you all explain that. But Washington beat Colorado earlier this week. Um, I don't know where the game was. It kind of makes a difference it, to me. But Colorado. In Colorado. Yeah. So yeah, they beat Washington in Boulder. Or Washington beat Colorado in Boulder. Um, so that's enough for them to, to stay ahead of Colorado for me. Um, then Wazoo. Then Oregon State, and then this is where it gets interesting. Cal is back in the conference. They probably should have been last week because Stanford, <laughs> up until yesterday, did not have any wins in the conference. But I put conference. I, I kept all twelve teams in the conference because Stanford, they got a win. They are finally on the board um, with a win in conference. Honestly, maybe a little disrespectful to Cal because Oregon State also only has one yeah. win in conference, so they maybe should be a little mm-hmm. bit. But none of those teams are good. They are not. Yeah. Uh, they are. They are hardly Pac-12 teams. But Oregon State does feel like a better team than Cal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you look at the games that they've played. Uh, uh, losing to Stanford by almost by 21 points, um, not great. Honestly, probably should have had them below Stanford. Um, Oregon State might be the worst team in this conference. Like I think we thought they were at the beginning of the season. Um, the bottom of the conference is is, Bad. is as interesting as the top of the conference, but for very different reasons. Totally agree. Shane, over to you. Same thing. A lot of movement in your rankings this week. Yeah, a ton. Um, top four remain the same. You know, U- USC just handled Utah, so yeah. I, they have no right for, for me to be in the top five. I agree with Sean, actually. Um, I totally forgot about that game. I think if I were to do it again, I would put Washington over Colorado, as I had them last week. It doesn't really make sense moving them down. <laughs> um, so thank you for calling me out on that. Uh, Oregon at five, just, I mean, they, they, they woke up when yeah. Nafali Dante is playing like that. They are very, a very hard team to beat. You they will tell you that, uh, but that doesn't damage you at all. In my up. opinion, um, ASU just, you know, last night we ever, we've talked about it at length. They'll be fine. They competed with the top five team in the country. Uh, they're still at three for me. Uh, Utah moving down to six because of that, for lack of a better term, shit pumping, um, <laughs> by USC. <laughs> Uh, and, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, we'll say Washington seven, Colorado is eight. Uh, Washington State just losing some weird games here and there, man. Yeah. And then OSU, Stanford, uh, ten and eleven, not putting Cal back in the conference just yet. And the student sections are in the conference. Just that's what makes college basketball so special. Yeah, sure. And you know, I experienced it firsthand last night with the fifty three hundred, whatever it was, plus crowd, record breaking DFA crowd for students. Um, it's just it's so great and. The advantage you get at home can really never be undervalued when you have a crowd like that. So shout out the 942 crew and just student sections all around the country. 100%. Love to see them make an appearance in this week's rankings. Uh, let's see what I got. I think similar to you guys, the the top of the conference is set UCLA at one, Arizona two. Uh, we've already kind of talked a little bit about how close the gap is between Arizona State and those other two programs. It's been a lot of fun to see the comparison from this year's team to last year's team. Uh, I still like Utah. 
as a top four seed going into the Pac-12 tournament. Um, I know they've struggled as of late, but I'm still putting a lot of weight on that Arizona win um, a couple weeks back. Similar to you guys, I got Oregon moving up a lot of spots. I think we all kind of thought that maybe this team would figure it out come conference play, and that's exactly what they've done. Talk about a team that manhandled uh, Arizona, I believe it was last weekend. So, yeah, And they manhandled Cal, 50, 87 to 58. Yeah. Cal, like, Cal's not good, but beating a team in conference by 30 points is impressive. Yeah. I do have USC at six. I know you guys both have them in the top five. I'm just not a huge believer in this team. They have won two of their last three, but they are losers of three of their last five. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what they do against Arizona State, and then they're back at home against UCLA following that. So that should be an interesting two-game stretch for them. Colorado at seven, Washington at eight. Wazoo Falls, they're at nine. Um, Oregon State at 10. I still do think that they're a better team than Stanford and Cal. I, I think Stanford has been by far the biggest disappointment yes. in conference play um, and just really throughout the season. So I have them. They did just smack around LSU. Though. They did. They did. I still have them at 11 just simply because yeah. I do think they're a bad team. Um, Cal not making an appearance for me quite yet. Got to got to get another dub. They well, have three. Well, what about what about this Cal Razors? What about Colorado and Washington? What made you do that? Uh, like switching them around pretty yeah. much. I think down the stretch, and I've got their schedules pulled up here, you look at Washington, and I know that I've got them jumping. You're you're asking why I don't have Washington ahead of Colorado? Yeah. Uh, I know it was they, they beat Colorado last night, but Colorado, I'm, again, putting a lot of weight into what they did early on in the season. I think this is probably the most hot or cold team in the conference, and when they're hot, I think they are hotter than Washington. Gotcha. Okay. So. We're going to learn a lot about the conference tomorrow. A lot about the conference. Yeah. UCLA, Arizona. I think you'll learn a lot about how real Washington or you, or, well, Utah and Washington are playing each Washington's other. Washington's beating Utah. I'm calling that. I okay. don't hate it. It is in Salt Lake, though. So yeah, no. take that for what you will. And then obviously, ASU, USC, um, that is a huge game for that part of, of the thing. And then Oregon, Stanford. Oregon should be should, by 30 points. But. So. Yeah, but yeah, it is you'll, you'll learn. Stanford, we will Stanford learn. just got a big win. Yeah, I mean, we'll learn if Oregon is is actually back to what we thought they were going to be, um, and if Stanford really does deserve to be that low in the conference. So, uh, a big weekend for the pack. Yeah, it is certainly going to be a lot of fun. Washington State, Colorado on Sunday. That's another big one. I just I can't get up for those oh, games. Sorry, biggest game of the weekend. Sunday, Oregon State, Oregon State, State Cal. <laughs> there you go. There you go, guys. That's going to do it for this week's Pac-12 Power Rankings. We'll be back next week with another edition, but for all your news and notes, go ahead and check out the PHNX Sun Devil Show.